Bruce hasn't had as much hands either today either. His VP is lower than last week, but understandable. Magu has pocket sevens. And he's going to raise to 300. So Bruce has ace 10 of spades. He does call it 300. He does break out. He has ace, has Magoo's seven, still good. Two flush draws on board. It would be hard for Magoo to continue if Bruce barreled. Uh, this is a really, oh, it was 501.2. So Magoo is going to call as Bruce can have combo draws. Magoo can also pick up live reads from Bruce. The camera does not pick up everything and Bruce is gonna go for it. This would be a Crazy call by Magoo, even if he had the live reads. But the thing is, Bruce hasn't played much hands, and he hasn't let, hasn't played much hands, and him leading out like this, Magoo does, is tanking. Bruce's VPIP is very low today, so for him to bet out, Magoo is... Does have to take a little bit. Magoo would almost want a bigger bet from Bruce. Exactly, to make the decision <laughs> easier. Yeah, to either snap call or snap fold. Seven of diamonds kind of lowers the chance of a flush, but, you know, the dealer button can have a lot of combinations of diamonds, so... While it's something, I don't think it's enough. Oh, yeah. Bruce gets Magoo to lay it down. And I honestly think, in my opinion, is because Bruce hasn't played much hand like again, like last week. So for him to just kind of be in the hand and betting on the river like that, Magoo has to think that he's beat. But when he does see this hand later on, it's okay. Love happens once in a while. Such a tough call. Would you call? Uh, probably not. But the thing is, on the turn, if, if I didn't get a live read, I probably would have just gave up on the turn. Oh, does Magoo and Bruce play together a lot? Uh, I know they played. I don't. I don't know about it. They played last Thursday minimum, and then yeah, the thing is like when you have to face two flush draws, it's just really really difficult to deal with on the river because 